welcome back to Beards, Bourbon, and Games. Today, we start Resident Evil. The game that started it all. Made all the Jill sandwiches. <laughs> As always, I'm your co-host, Corey the Conqueror. And with me, I have Mike. Yellow. And we're going to play the original Resident Evil. No, this is not the director's cut. This is the original, the OG, the one long box art that had the shotgun rifle. Oh, yeah. Get ready for all the bad voice acting and all the bad background music. It is time. So it's obvious, as part of our retro horror month for October, it had to be Resident Evil, because we did Silent Hill first, and uh, that was a very fun playthrough, except for that puzzle at the end. I hated that thing, oh, that even so though bad. it was so simple but hard at the same time. <laughs> it's mind-boggling. It was one of those puzzles that, yeah, you spent it forever, and when you finally figured it out, you wasn't proud. You was, you, had, you actually felt shame because you didn't realize what the solution was sooner. My brain hurt. And I, the Going back and watching that as I edited it, the amount of time we spent on that puzzle was mind-boggling. <laughs> this will be a quick episode. We're almost to the end. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sam, Sam Ariel on that game, he was just a bonus boss. The true in-game boss was that puzzle. <laughs> right, so we're going to dive straight on into Resident Evil here. Oh, I'm so excited. So you have a choice between Chris and the mysterious Jill Valentine. We got to play Jill because we got to have the Jill sandwich line. You. We're almost. We're almost. <laughs> Jill sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> The only, the only way that would be better is if you got William Shatner to read that. Oh. 1998, July. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots. Interesting Robert tidbit of the information. Even the Japanese the version had English voice actors. No, I haven't found it yet. It was interesting. Yeah, they heard some random... Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Some random woman got pulled off the street and given 20 bucks. Bravo Even team like, I don't know, I'll, I'll give you $20. And disappeared. Okay. Look, Chris! There's <laughs> a, a good chance that lady probably doesn't want to be known. <laughs> But I don't know why, because she's a legend. Oh, man, she can make so much money at cons. I was almost a kill sandwich. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the I equipment was actors, still there. Though. Gosh. However, we soon discovered why. Look how awesome we are. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, so smoldery. <laughs> Anyone see my glasses? Hey, I found them. Here. They're over here. <laughs> this is the best reaction ever. You ready? This is awesome wind crap right here. No! Don't go! No! Cheryl! I'm sorry, Mike. I can't keep a straight face while commentating on this. <laughs> okay, I'm professional now. Kill! Run for that house! <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that's a total good idea right there. <laughs> Ribbit. I forgot about this. Holy Chris God. Redfield. <laughs> Jill Valentine. You saw all these scenes. 
Mary Burton. Yeah. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Yeah. Resident Evil. They had escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet. What is this? Wow! What a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... <laughs> what is it? <clears throat> That's a Maybe shot. it's Chris. I think you never now, lived. Jill, you never lived in West Chicago. Go? I'm <laughs> going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Chris. Okay. Oh, let let me handle table. this. Partner. Stay alert. Ah, right, Captain. <laughs> Okay, that was hard. <laughs> a dining room. What gave it away? The table? I thought it was a study. Do I have a weapon? I do. It's just not equipped. Okay. Let's get myself oriented here. What? What <laughs> is this? What is it? Blood. Oh, someone spilled ketchup. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Mm, look at those textures. Hope blood. this is not oh, Chris's blood. <laughs> Just the fact that he's like, you go on alone. I'm gonna stay here and look at this pile of this puddle of blood, pile of blood. <laughs> I, I swear that, that the graphics on that blood there looks like someone opened it up in Microsoft Paint and just copied and pasted it onto the background. I doubt it. Now, the difference between this and Silent Hill, of course, is these te textures are all drawn and then put on here. So, that's that's one really cool thing. It also helps with, the, like, the the graphics, the load, and they can put a lot more processing power towards actually doing things. But, there is the iconic scene. Uh, Alright, let's just leave this guy alone. Oop. Running. I don't know if there's handgun ammo on his body. I think there is. I think there is too, but we can just come back and kill him later, I guess. Mm, yeah. So there's, there's like a cheese way of what you can do. Barry? If you swing with your knife and hit them, you can go into the menu, exit out, and then what you is set it? your phone. Watch out! It's out. a monster! Let me take care of this. <laughs> what is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's Wait, report this to Wesker. Him on him. <laughs> Got to report this to Wesker. Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Hey, let me show you a trick. Okay, now go through the back way. I'm pointing. You can't even see me pointing. Now go through the back way on this side. Stop about halfway in and turn around. Don't go all the way around. Okay, now turn. Okay, now go back out to the front. Nothing. <laughs> what is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite oh, side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. 
We should start from the first floor, okay? And Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, uh... if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Uh-huh. Let's go back at the Kenneth's body and try to get that, uh, I, I think there's pink anyway. Yeah. Now this time Mike can't save like a, uh, like a madman because we have ink ribbons. <laughs> Get your head bit off a bit, I you. <laughs> oh, I knew it! Look at you, man. Check it again. Yes! That's what I thought. <laughs> Alright, this is looking up. We've already, we've already got 45 rounds. So right here is where there's actually a whole section of the game in the remake. And, and we, we we did debate on playing the remake. It's just that for the theme of retro, we decided since we played the original Silent Hill, we had to play the remake already. Oh, yeah. um, it was a very hard decision because, let's, let's face it, the Resident Evil 1 remake is a masterpiece. It is everything a remaster should be. And... Uh, the only remake to ever actually topple that, in my opinion, was the RE2 remake. I agree. I mean, they did, they did such a good job on it. Mm -hmm. Which we'll get around to playing on here because, let's face it, it's one of, one of my Corey's favorite games. We, God, we played the crap out of Resident Evil 2, the original. Yeah, and most people, that's where they started in this franchise, was 2, because 2 really got Resident Evil on the map. But you gotta pay homage to one because this one's amazing. Okay, I'm not buying that zombie's dead. I don't remember if he is or not. I can't either. Ink ribbon. Ink ribbons! Yay! I don't know how I remember this stuff. It's been so long. <laughs> I forgot how silly the zombies sound on here. <laughs> Ooh, actually, you're yellow. One more bot. Oh, I wonder. Mm. There was no difficulty on this originally. I remember that now. Yeah, the difficulty was introduced with the director's cut of the game. If I recall, I know one of these shells moves, doesn't it? Or is that in the remake? Moves. Oh god, it got me anyway. Run, Mike! Run! <laughs> there's bullets in there. <laughs> I know there's bullets in there, but that just, it got me anyway. Oh look, an herb. Okay. I have to try something because I can't remember what the key combination is now. Okay. All right. We're good. Now, is this the hall where we get the shotgun? I think so. Hmm. Is it too early to trigger it? It's locked. <laughs> do, do I kill the dogs to get the ammo? Probably not. 
And I said, wait, let's wait. We're doing okay on MR right now. We do need to remember it, though, and come back to it. I'll be like, we needed that ammo. Where was it? In the hall of the dogs. Look at that. They just did such a good job on this game. I mean, yeah, the, the backgrounds were pre-rendered, but I think that looks awesome. Right? I think it's a really cool idea. There's really nothing in here. It's so hard to differentiate in my brain the differences between the remake and this one. Me. So when I see things in this one that was not in the remake, it throws me for a loop. A tapestry, tapestry not no. unusual. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's the boomstick. Come to daddy. So good. Some sparkle on that table. But I imagine it. I think you imagine it's okay. I did too. <laughs> it's probably drugs. <laughs> Where are the drugs going? Okay. Alright, check the door. I right, check the back door. Okay, check the front door again. Wait. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Perry, help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm going to kick this door down. Perry, this way. <laughs> Hurry, Logan. Oh, Perry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. Oh, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Lies. Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Why, why is she complaining? He's the only reason why she didn't lose weight really, Thank really, you, really Barry. fast. Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Barry. <laughs> and we now have the shotgun. So if you play as Chris, you're not that lucky. You have to wait till you get the broken shotgun. Yeah. Because Chris has it much harder for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why that is. <laughs> we have to play a Chris pray through. So pray through? Play through. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot how horrible that is. <laughs> it's so great. Can I? Yes. Didn't know if I could do that in this. It's locked. Oh, there's a door there. Freak. Oh, and we have our first puzzle. Okay, hang on. We gotta get. We gotta go to the end of the hall and this puzzle. I think. Because if we do this wrong, these crows are going to peck our eyes out. Yep. Give me the peace of death, and I'll give you the 
the joy of life. Switch below, we push it. Oh, crap! Way to go, Mike. This is why we can't have good, nice things. Whoops. <laughs> Wait. That, I was the one told you to press that, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> or did I imagine that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you know better you. than to listen, though. It was you. <laughs> That's the great thing about these old games. Leave the room to reset it. I don't know if it. Oh. So this picture is picture of a newborn baby. Okay, yep. Press that. Okay, check the other picture. It's turned sideways. Picture of a young man. Young man. No. There's there's one in between it. I think. Picture of an infant. Okay, yeah, press that. Picture of a lively boy. Press that. What's the one on the other side that's sideways? Okay. Now I need the one with the young man. Wait, check that sideways one first. Okay, now we need the young man first. of a young man. Middle -aged a picture man. of a tired middle-aged man. I don't see no switch. Do you see a switch? Maybe they got it docked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to switch one. It took me a sec to get it. When I finally got it, I was like, oh god. And unsubscribe. Little man. I think we're ready. Here we go. Wait, what was the white one back there? The white one. We checked them all, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. We're about to find out. Nice. We need the iron box now. I forgot how little room you have in this game. Sign here spoiled us. Old silent, we didn't have to hold anything. Oh my gosh, die dog. Wow. Okay. That was Because I do know there's. Oh, well, nice. We can put this thing in there. <laughs> like, I'm just clicking through this. We're not even reading it. The gate of the new life will open. Okay. So. <laughs> we just know where it goes. <laughs> I do love the lock noise in this game. If I'm not mistaken, we have to be very careful because it's real easy to run out of ammo in this game. Yes. As far as I remember, anyway. Okay, this was locked. This. No. Oh. oh, I know where this goes. Under the stairs. Use that. There you go. Cheers, Vermont. 
bullet. Alright, that guy's dead. Oh, cool out of box room. Herb. Hey, Herb. Does the bear bring us supplies here eventually? I think I think that's only in the remake. Oh, okay. Fertilizer. Can't carry anymore. Good to know. <laughs> oh, yes. Should I take one of these? I say, I say, put the first aid spray up. Let's try to save it as much as we can. And take, take all the ammo that's in here. Surely we can combine that. I hope so. We're about to find out. Crazy. I'm about to say put up the shotgun just for a little bit because we have such limited space. Yeah, I don't want to waste it right now. You know how we are. Okay. And let's go save. <laughs> you forgot you had to have an anchor, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, you can save, you your, save progress. your progress with this. Okay, that was freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, that cop was loud. Out of my ears. Yeah. This is not optimized very well. She tops like I top at the office. <laughs> People can tell when I'm always uh, writing an email, a long email, because when I hit that space key, boy, I abuse it. All right, let's do this. I have an herb. I guess we have to go up. Good dunk. Good dunk. Good dunk. I don't know about you, but that was always freaky to me. <laughs> oh, hey. How's it going? How's it hanging? Crap. Okay. An emergency dog. You got this, Mike. Oh, my God. She is missing. Ooh. She is missing. Zombies look the same in this version. Uh, they do, don't they? Yeah, there's only like two, two different versions, two different kinds of zombies. Oh wow! Oh wow! Let's get it. We need the keys. You all right over there? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking, I was looking my window shades down. I, just, I tried to do it all incognito. But I ended up making the most noise possible. So. It sounded like you just like, oh crap! I'm cautious because I got thrown upon. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I'm that kind of guy that when stealth is option or when it says stealth is recommended on a mission, I walk in there with a minigun. <laughs> it's locked. Okay, so that's where we get the map, if I remember correctly. Okay. This is a nice house. I would a little bland. Want to live here. Doorknob is broken. Oh, there's zombies in this hallway too, and I have to kill them. New Uber Elite Dodge. Okay, he's dead. I saw the pedal 
blood. <laughs> Puddle of blood. Oh, look, a book. All right. About medis botany book. About medicinal herbs. As you may know, there are many plants that have medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of those plants with medical properties. Each herb has... Di uh, bah, bah, bah. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medicinal plants. Or not medicinal, medical. Goodness. Um, the green ones recover physical strength. The blue ones neutralize uh, natural toxins. While the red herbs do not have any effect by itself, the red herb is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs. For example, if you mix this herb with an herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount, uh, experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines, but I'll leave the details in your hands because that's the best way to acquire the true knowledge. That's the worst book ever. Yep. Like, you buy a book to learn things. Can you imagine, can you imagine, uh, like, getting a math book? That's like the example I heard one time, like a comedian said one time, and he said, hey, teacher, how do I solve this math problem? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> That's pretty much what that book said. Basically, yeah. Oh, is there nothing else in this place? There's another door in there. Or is that the other door? No, that's not the other door. That's the door we came in, wasn't it? Yeah, this leads out here. I thought there was another door in that room. It wasn't? Nope. Oh, it must have been the remake. I have a feeling we're going to say that a lot. Yeah, it's coming. Come on. Run into the door. Ignore it. Ignore it. We got to save ammo. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm the best one to take your last one. <laughs> Just run into the door. Barry! Barry! I've seen you like eight Jill, times this one episode. What's going on? <laughs> Any clues? No, but something is wrong with this house. Whoa. You think? This hall is dangerous. <laughs> maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There this must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall oh, we? Barry. Mm. Okay, let's separate again. Just a moment. <laughs> I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. <laughs> Look at but this. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Oh, Thank my. You. I'll take this then. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I can't do this. It's acid rounds, okay. Oh. That's not a weapon. That's ammunition. Where's the grenade launcher, Barry? Oh. Yeah, we're, we're about ready to die. So if they get you from behind, that's bad. Oh, crap. That seems like a great idea. Follow the blood. Oh, yeah, blood all over the walls. What could it possibly have? Oh, this is where we get the grenade launcher. Yep. It's forest. He's been pecked to death. Oh, gosh, we didn't run, Mike. Check his body. I think there's handgun ammo, too. We got the bazooka. Okay, didn't pick up anything. Nope. Whew. Did he not have any handgun ammo on his body? I could not that I could tell. Let's see if they oh, okay. calm down when I go back in. Nope, nothing. Ooh, I'm sitting there now. Maybe the 
record shot. It's only in the remake. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the remake, sir. Well, we've managed to get a lot of stuff in a very short amount of time. <laughs> We got a bazooka. Because that's clearly a bazooka. That is not a grenade launcher. No. <laughs> grenade launchers don't look like that. Bazooka. That's what bazookas look like. I have to kill one of those. <laughs> Resist the urge, Mike. Make peace with them. They're misunderstood. Nah, you got around these guys. I gotta push this thing up. Oh, that is a Oh, that one's dead. Okay, he's dead. Okay. We can ignore the other one. Okay. Oh crap, he's faster than I thought. <laughs> I didn't mean to I don't know why that made me jump. Someone in the comments like, Dude, why are you jumping at this? <laughs> and the you know, you know, you understand. The entire time we play horror games, I've always made my play and I said, I mean, even when I co pilot this stuff, I still jump. Because my nerves can't handle it. <laughs> but I do it. I do it for you. Oh, it was that one time though, I did I did I did play Dead Space and people were like, How long would you play Dead Space? You can't play Resident Evil. Don't ask me. <laughs> I can't answer that. Dead Space is another good one. Really yes, it is. is. I really, really wish they would redo that one. I don't know if the world's ready for that. <laughs> well, maybe not redo it because it's not been that long, but continue it. But mm -hmm. EA owns it. And don't don't make it an action co-op shooter. Come on now. What do you mean like they did? Mm-hmm. Not cool. because the original, the, the original Dead Space was was pure gold. Okay, and I even liked two. Dead Space Two was amazing too. Yeah. I thought I liked the story. The story was great. And then three, I didn't even bother picking up because I heard about how bad it was. Right. I played it for the story because I had to, but it wasn't that great. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's episode. If you like this episode, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to check out more of our content, be sure to check out our channel. And all, as always, enable that little bell icon so that way we can interrupt the middle of your work day with awesome videos. As always, I'm your co-host, Corey the Conqueror. And I'm Mike. And we'll see, see ya. ya.